Indians and their love for food is world renowned and thanks to pandemic we are eating more baking more and exploring much more In the last few years a plethora of artisanal bakeries boutiques and patisseries have evolved to fuel our appetite Today we have with us Shivan Gupta from Monique Patisserie in Delhi's Chhatrapur to understand how the dessert culture in India in contemporary India has gone through a massive makeover Welcome to the print Thank you Uh to begin with I would like to ask what do you think is the difference between the people who don't understand what is the difference between a patisserie and a normal bakery shop or a dessert parlor a normal bakery shop or a dessert parlor could have its origins anywhere you know it could be uh it could be british it could be american because everyone has their own version whereas when you refer to a patisserie or you refer to a patissier it's more so in the french context and how the french really stand apart is Uh, because they are known for their technique, uh, for their intricacy, for the delicateness of desserts. That's exactly what sets it apart. So, in a country like ours, which is obsessed with food, we we love our food. We like to explore. We like to eat. And also, you know, there was a time when even getting a chocolate cake on a birthday was so special. So, in a in a market which is already you know like to say overcrowded, where do you think Monique stands? and how do you think you're adding or probably you know making any difference to the already overcrowded market so you rightly said the market is surely overcrowded uh, the diaspora is so large uh, but that said what brings with it is varied taste uh, and that varied taste i feel comes with um, exposure uh, with different palettes and i mean to say what you know when you when you specially travel and you experience different things that's what brings further clarity to it so you know you could be in india and you could be having um, a french dessert per se but you know that would always be a version over here but when you've been there and you've had it you understand the nuances of it better that's exactly what we are trying to recreate over here for our patrons and what would be let's say your target audience um so our target audience i would definitely say is is the very traveler who has experienced all of this um and has a lust to experience more and as well as the person who is just gen- in general uh, you know fond of food and um, and has a lust to you know know more and like you said we indians we love our food and there was a time when we were very conventional with our taste but i think given the day and age today of you know master chef and and different cuisines all over over here uh, our minds have opened a lot more people are willing to try a lot more and experiment being the key word over here for sure what was the inspiration behind opening monique and like monique claims that it you know caters to it it gives out a very authentic french you know a experience but w- what propelled you to open such a place which has a niche market has a niche clientele what what inspired you so i would say it definitely has a very niche market but along with it even a growing market uh, and what pushed me towards uh, definitely you know uh, having maxim with me in this and bringing this was uh, the story is beautiful about french patisserie you know especially when you go along france and you know and what you have is just absolutely amazing we have had variants of it come over here but i still felt there was a gap and there was something which was even more beautiful which awaited um, for us in delhi to be trying this and i'm really happy to see that you know what response we've got how people have absolutely loved it and you know given us the tagline of a bite in your in paris i think that says a lot so uh, like you were telling me monique was you opened a, a place in at the peak of pandemic did you face any challenges because of covid or because anyway the market is niche and the clientele it's specific or were you, was it like it didn't have any impact at all no that would be wrong to say if it didn't have impact it definitely did uh and there were a lot of challenges because this was the peak of covid and the second wave uh, which brought about not just challenges but a lot of safety protocols as well um, sourcing was a challenge staff was a challenge working with the french chef to ensure safety everything was was an absolute challenge but i think uh, was what was really heartwarming was when i would see and you know when we would see that you know we had orders coming in from people who were sending it to their friends and families to cheer themselves up and you know to uh, you know as we all know in covid you lose your taste buds and you know when people were recovering as a recovery gift so it really made us feel special and feel good that we could be a part of something like that so 
So to deliver such a authentic French experience, do you also source all your ingredients from there, or are they locally sourced? Uh, so we are doing a mix, but our key ingredients are definitely being imported. Uh, yes, that's what I would say. And at the moment, like there is no dine-in, people can only order and pre-order, and it's, there's only delivery is available. Do you think that is a sustainable form of business model, or do you plan to expand? Are there any such plans? We definitely plan to expand. I think the delivery model has worked really well because, especially in COVID and seeing the uh, the challenges which arise, this gave us a great platform. And especially when people were home, they were looking at uh, different things to you know to try to savor. Um, in summers, for example, you weren't really traveling, and you know which you were so used to. And when you're traveling, what is it for us Indians? We love to have good food, right? So we were sitting in the comfort of our home and being able to have it over there. So that was definitely great, and it's proved to be a good model. But yes, we are definitely looking at an outlet uh, in time to come, um, as well as having an outlet here in Chhatrapur as well. But let's see uh, whenever we are able to put that together. I, I hope that you open more such places in Delhi and across India. The market of artisanal bakeries and patisserie is definitely expensive, but makes no concessions to taste buds. Ruined by decades of exposure to artificial flavors, but incredibly, it is working, drawing in millennials willing to shell out money for that incredible cake or pastry. For more stories like this, subscribe to the Print. This is Nidhima Taneja with Nirmal Podar.